Honorable Dr. Denzel Llewellyn Douglas. Round of applause, show me your voting finger, make some noise. The COVID-19 pandemic has hit our people real hard, causing widespread unemployment. And so the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party will leave no one behind and no stone unturned once elected to be the government of St. Kitts and Nevis. We will ease the squeeze for our people. We shall extend the social security income support of $1,500 per month for an additional six months for all who lost their jobs. We shall then replace this by a permanent unemployment insurance of $750 per month to all those who are unemployed and are actively seeking work. We shall institute a standard non-duty policy on barrels and containers of food, foodstuff of course, up to 400 pounds in weight. We shall also stimulate the construction sector to, of course, create jobs and to ease the burden for aspiring homeowners. All citizens, all citizens of the Federation will be entitled to the following. All new construction or renovation on residences valuing up to $500,000 or half a million dollars will be entitled to VAT free on all materials and furnishings. Duty free on all materials and furnishings plus zero down payment on mortgages with our indigenous banks. Your caring Labour government will put people back to work and stimulate our national economy. We are bringing the red wave of change to our country again. Join us. It is always better with labor. Hi, from New York to Harris's. Tannery 
tonight. After tonight, Connery must return. Dr. Terrence Drew to Parliament. You see, that is how labor does it, you know. When we open, I always hot. <laughs> when we open the campaign headquarters a few weeks ago. Well, what you think was the best? It was labor better than all the rest. When we introduced our candidates several weeks ago, you realized it was better with labor compared to the others. It was just Sunday. We had at the Simaco car park massive gospel rally. They went there last night. They could have held in our crowd ten times. Because it's always better with labor. Yesterday was nomination day. You all see it for you all self. There was no match for us. Because it's better with labor. Now we are here tonight. Tell them. Match us here in Connery. And you will see. It would be better with labor. That is what we are. We are better than the rest. We are simply the best. And that is why I am certain that we, we definitely are on to the path of victory. We demand from this rally tonight a stable government for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Only labor can return this country to a state of stability. Forward movement. Only labor my Rasta man down here can do it. Tell all the Rastas in St. Kitts and Nevis. It will be better at all times with labor here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Let me, let me hear the man them say, he lie. We are better with labor. Yes, man. And so tonight, I want to thank my two comrades from number six who nominated me yesterday. Tracy Mason, give her tremendous applause. And young Rasta man, a farmer, Javon Alford of St. Paul's. Tracy of Parsons, Javon of St. Paul's. Put your hands together and give them a big wow wow with your mouth as well. Good. I want to say to you, my dear people, it was the ninth time yesterday that I was nominated as a candidate for labor. Nine times. Comrade Ike, nine times, I said. <laughs> I want to say 
that it has been a very humbling experience yesterday. Ninth time, the people of number six reposed their confidence in me. And even before we start, they know I don't win. And I want to say thanks to the people of constituency number six. You have been with me through thick and thin. And that is why I am saying to the people of constituency number eight, you have to stay, you have to stand and stay with Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew has come from humble beginnings. He's a caring doctor. He wants to advance the lives of the people of number eight and the people of this country on the whole. And so tonight, here in Connery, in this historic meeting, the people of number eight, the people of this country, the people of the Labour Party, are asked to recognize that he will advance us as a cause. He it is. He it is who is leading the A-team of labor that is being presented to you tonight again after being nominated yesterday to stand officially in our elections. And I say to you, this is a humbling experience for this young gentleman to lead this 90-year-old party. Only few of us have had such privilege. And he deserves to be recognized with your support to take us to victory. The A-team of labor to be taken to victory in this upcoming election. I want to make it absolutely clear that the people of number six can be assured that they will advance in this after this upcoming victory. We will continue to impress upon our people in number six the importance of education. The importance of having tertiary level education. The importance of learning new skills. I told you just a few nights ago, we've had discussions with training skills institutes in Canada and also in Trinidad and Tobago to advance our young men and young women into skills training. We said to you, with the victory after the fifth day of August, there is no job in the public service that the people of number six would not be able to occupy. <laughs> we will continue to ensure that the built infrastructure of that part of our rural country will continue to move our great people forward. There will be development in improving our health centers our post offices, our sporting complexes. We will make sure that our community centers and place spaces for our children are properly designated and fenced to protect our young children playing within the confines. We want to make it very, very clear 
that we will not only complete the development of three hotels at Kittishan Hill, but we will also build two more, two more major hotels in St. Kitts during our next five terms, five year term. We want to say emphatically that we will harness the peace. Harness the peace. Not get rid of the peace. Harness the peace is what we shall do. And we shall improve upon the path. Too many people who deserve to be on the path are left off because of politics. They will be built on. Because if they are deserving, they must receive what others are getting to improve their livelihoods. And so the buzzwords after tonight must be, we will harness the peace and we will improve the path under labor when we form the government on the fifth day of August. Just how many more days now? Nine more days. Nine more days. And he's going to have to hand over Petrie. Be yeah, careful what we say this time here. Come on and make my statements viral. But I can say it. No more riding or driving in P3. Hand it over. Hand over the keys, Timothy. Don't belong to you. Nine more days. Then eight more days. Then seven more days. Then zero days. And we drag him out of P3. My dear people, I want to say to you that after the 50th of August, we shall emphasize by using the pillar identified in our manifesto as the post-COVID reset. We shall use that pillar to move our people and country forward. And that will be built on the following. Small business development. How can we recapture and move beyond where we were before COVID unless we continue to invest in the development of small businesses here in St. Kitts and Nevis? We will continue to ensure jobs are created and lower taxation will be paid by our business people and our people in general. We will continue to invest in our people or human development, my dear people. We will make sure that we can lead healthier livelihoods and peace and stability must be part of our thrust forward post COVID-19. But what are some of these specific things? We will have, firstly, $500 being paid as minimum wage to all those ladies and all those persons in the industrial estates and in the, and in the businesses that are still paying 360 for minimum wage. We will make sure that our VAT is reduced from 17%. It was Timothy Harris who back in 2010 announced that he was going to impose 17% VAT. We will now reduce it to 13% and less accordingly, my dear people. I mentioned that we will sponsor the university education of our young people. We will lower the interest rates that they are paying 
on students' loan. And we will make sure that we will provide the necessary tuition support for them as well. There will be tax reduction and expanded concessions for small businesses. And we will deal with all, with all of the outstanding severance issues which our people experience during COVID-19. A lot of people were let off. No severance. No proper compensation. We shall fix that as soon as we get there after the fifth day of August. We shall create 5,000 new jobs. Especially in the construction sector. We will make sure that this can be achieved by the cross-country highway that we will build from Canada Estate all the way down to Capistia and La Valley. We will make sure that there will be the construction of the Bastia Senior High School, not on our aquifer here in the valley, but right there where it was before at the old site. We will make sure that Akila Byron Nisbet will be shamed because she has caused a serious deterioration in our health care. We shall build a brand new Joseph and France General Hospital. Tonight again I say, Akila Nisbet has been a disgrace as a Minister of Education here, Minister of Health here in our country. This government is going to be classified as a job creation government. My people, we had promised you in 2015 that not only would, be, would we be debt free by the end of that term, but we would have been completely free of unemployment here in St. Kitts and Nevis. At last, the time has come again. At last, in nine days to come, we shall show you how we can mobilize our people to bring full support to the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party and ensure that there's a new government on behalf of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. And so I close by saying, vote for Dr. Drew here in Connery and number eight. Vote for Labour. Vote for Dr. Douglas and vote for your own future. A better future is always better with labor. God bless you, thank you, and good night.